Hello and welcome, Neil Ellis here from Tax TV. What a day, in a good way. Uh, got an invite to the Barnsley Content Day inside the Academy on the Astro Turf, inside the Academy facility. Managed to get some footage. Hope you're going to enjoy the content that's going to be uploaded straight after. Sit back and enjoy a uh, few laughs. A few uh, great insight pointers, not going to, you know, get too much away, but a great insight into uh, some of the thinking and some of the, the thoughts of some of the people, not getting too much. So it's going to be a bit of a surprise and a bit of a, you know, uh, watch for, for yourself. So please like, subscribe and share. Leave your comments below, your thoughts. Uh, sit back, enjoy. Hope you like. Hi, and welcome to Tikes TV. Uh, it's a great honour to come and, and meet some players and that, and it's a great gesture by the club. Uh, and again, if you just want to introduce them to the rest of Tikes TV, if it was who you are. If you should not know who they are, but if not, then I'll be having words with him. I'm Jack, I'm the kit man. <laughs> Brad Collins, centre mid. <laughs> <laughs> and how everybody will be commenting that, you're joking me, you're a kit man, what are you doing a kit man for? <laughs> so it's great to um, have time, time out and chat and that. Uh, under Michael Duff up to now, what you've been doing in training, have you seen any improvements or any change from last season compared to this season? Yeah, I've, I've loved working under him. Um, like I said, he's only been in a couple of weeks. Um, I think we all sat down as a, a club um, with some home truths from last season um, that we had to put right and, and kind of move forward. That's now behind us. Uh, fresh start, fresh eyes, um, fresh motivation um, to bounce back and, and to have a good season. And can you echo that? Uh, them kind of sentiments, it's trying to push on and try and improve this season compared to last season at Papua? Yeah, I think so, for sure. I think, well, I don't think it can get any worse than last year. So if you look at it like that, we're, we're hoping to have a positive year and, and be right up near the top end of the league and pushing for playoffs, and who knows what could happen. I know I've been watching uh, pre season training and I also went to workshop uh, game as well. And what I've seen in uh, Michael Duff, because I went to a press conference as well, is that he's very self motivated, he's, he knows what he wants to do and he sets a stall out to try and get that. Is that transferring through to players? Can you see some of the players what might have been having a bit of off season last season? You know, the game's a, a short space of time, but it has been in training. Can you see a difference in players as well? Yeah, obviously, if you look, he's had a great career as a player um, and he's. He's had so many promotions, so he knows what it takes to be have that winning mentality and to get promoted. Um, so straight away, he's implemented that of that mentality um, and trying bedding that into the group. So everyone's kind of taking it on board and, and really thriving off it so far. I, I would say. I think it were a good call having still Martin Devaney involved in backroom staff, but also he's got Martin Patterson as well. Uh, obviously he's known him from his Burnley days and he's come in and what I've read about him he seems to be very good at tactical set pieces and stuff like that so again it's something that I think that it could be IT in our team probably beneficial for us as well Yeah of course you know you need all the help you can get you can never not have enough people around the building around the place obviously that they've had fantastic careers and know exactly what they're on about so it's, it's great to have them with us and yeah look, we, look, we look forward to working under them there's not much long left to go now. There's probably about two or three weeks before the season proper starts. Is it going to be an old cliche taking every game as it comes, or are we looking at a month by month basis, or is it just like just self belief and just going and go and win the game? Yeah, like I said cliche. You've got the first game. We start there. Um, there's no point looking any further. We've got three weeks to prepare and make sure when that first whistle of the first game of the season that we know exactly what we're doing. We're fit enough and we're ready for a long season. And for such as yourself, fit, uh, just said there about being fit enough, can you see that as in players, because there's going to be a lot of games in League One, it's going to be a big issue that for some of the players, but picking up a, a few knocks last season, fitness is going to be a big, a, a big improvement to help us uh, for a long season ahead. Yeah, for sure, obviously, if, if you look back at last pre-season, it wasn't a great, great pre-season on the shop. Um, yeah, well, I, I don't think it was hard enough and things like that. But obviously this year, Michael knows exactly what, what he has to do. And yeah, it's great to have him on board. And we just, we need to be fit enough. We need to be the fittest in the league. We need to we need to run more than everyone else. And I, I hope that's what we do. Uh, everybody for watching, thanks for taking your time out, guys. Really appreciate it. And you've heard it. We've got to be fit enough. We've got to take season ahead. There's going to be a lot of games here. So once again, thanks for joining me. I do appreciate it. Cheers. 
tall, tall keeper. Um, so I'm going to let, if you don't know who he is, then you should be ashamed of yourself. So I'll let you introduce yourself. Um, yes, I'm Jamie Searle from New Zealand, um, 21. And yeah, that's goalkeeper, <laughs> obviously, if you can tell from the height, but it puts in, puts in helps. Uh, great, great to uh, be over here. Um, what a uh, club that you've always been looking for uh, to play for straight away, or is it reputation? How, how come you come to join Barnsley? I just want to be able to put the work in. Like Tom Farge is a goalkeeper coach, is someone that looks to, to believe in me, and he's got a good reputation. And hopefully, his style of goalkeeping can impact me to help Barnsley push on to get back to the championship I guess what we all want <laughs> that's what we all want uh, it's la- last season uh, granted you weren't here but it, it were struggling obviously being relegated a uh, new manager come in Michael Duff and what I've seen him uh, went to press conference and things like that he seems a very very motivational kind of man uh, it seems to be an arm right shoulder for a lot of players is, does he have any words of encouragement for you Michael Duff or is he just like you get on with it but does, is he there for, you f- uh, for support at the moment, it's just just get on with it. It's pre-season, so it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard work. Um, but what we know with him is he's a winner. He wants to win, and so do we. So puts us good stead. I think that's what all fans are, want, fans are wanting. Like you know, he's a winner. So so are we. It's going to be a long season ahead. Uh, there's going to be like obviously league games and a lot of cup games and that involved. Surely you're going to be knocking on the door for a, a first team uh, call, up, aren't you? Uh, obviously, I'd want to play, love to play, but at the moment, it's just getting my feet on the grass and putting hard work in to push push the other two and then they'll push me. And that's what it is. I think if it's competition and healthy competition we in camp as well, it's going to improve everybody's game. Is there anything uh, you've been to other clubs and that, but since coming to Barnsley, is there any new training methods or training styles that you've learnt or picked up on or think, oh, I've never tried that or seen that before? Obviously, whenever you come into a new environment or a new goalkeeper coach, it, it, everything's a bit different. Obviously, you've got your same fundamentals, but some drills, some some styles, like look at Jack and Brad and they're a bit different to other goalkeepers I've worked with. Um, so it's always different. And final question from New Zealand. Um, have you settled in Barnsley? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I moved up fully, so everything's in here. It's just getting used to the place now and looking what's around. And probably getting used to some accents, including mine. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great to have you. Uh, I hope you, you see a lot in your first team as well. Um, and good luck for the rest of the season. Nice one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Sykes TV. S- very special guest on today. If you just want to introduce you, who you are. I'm Leah Isika Aron, central forward from Barnsley. Um, great to have you on board. I'm, I'm starstruck when I'm talking to you, to be fair, like, because I've, you know, I've always wanted to, to really go on and improve at Barnsley. And I remember last season that when you scored, you come running to where I was and you were like proper celebrating, and then it were ruled offside, so I was like proper down at the same time. But last season, um, I think it's fair to say that uh, you know, we got relegated and stuff like that. But are you hoping this season it's going to be a lot better? You're gonna, uh, your game time, you're going to get a lot more games? Yeah, surely, surely. I think uh, last season, um, with the new coach and new, uh, new, I can new. New, I don't know what to say that. Uh, yeah, just new coach mm. was a little bit uh, uh, a big change for me because uh, we changed a lot of formation and tactical stuff that doesn't suit me. Mm. I would say that. Mm. And uh, yeah, that's part of football. But yeah, definitely this season is a season that uh, we want everybody to 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 going back where we belong. That we needs to be. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Definitely, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do my best to to, to make the the club and and uh, our teammates and and the, the fans uh, happy and back to 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 the championship. Great, great sentiments, and I, uh, you know, I thank you for being honest as well. Uh, what I went to work like town, and what I, I obviously started uh, alongside the Devante call. Uh, yeah, it, I think everybody looked fitter, they looked more up for it. I think Michael Duff, and the new manager who was in, he seems to be an arm right shoulder. He's, he's like caring for players and he's trying to like uh, get the best out of your players. Do you feel that this season your game's going to be improving, having Michael and you knowing the kind of system you're going to be playing to, to make it uh, better for your game? Uh, if, if I understand well your question... Yeah. 
is that you ask me you asking me if uh, if with the new coach it will be better for me for better, yes yeah oh um i, d I don't want to make it an excuse that the, the previous coach no, was no. Yeah. so I, I, to be honest football is is on the, the green pitch mm. so it's it's the, the biggest part is for me first mm. and then after for from the gaffer but i think uh, we are everybody on the same on the same line to yeah. make to, to to try to make the best for everybody so definitely the the, the gaffer uh, wants me to to, to show my quality the, in the best way mm. and uh, i think yeah i think this season we will, we will most of the time play at two in front yeah that's definitely something that i would like to do mm. and uh, it will really help me and i think it will push push us more in forward yeah. and uh, make make us make us and make me more dangerous than than the dangerous <laughs> you, you want to be a dangerous yeah, player <laughs> and i think last season as well um when it was a poor season, was it frustrating for you as well? Was it was it hard for you last season? Being for, oh, I, you know that you can do better, but again, this season I think what I've seen up to now, you know, training and stuff like that, you seem to be you seem to be happier as well, and you can't wait for the season to start so you can start playing football and scoring goals. Yeah, exactly, and I think also uh, the previous season, um, personally, I had some difficult time outside of the pitch. So in one period it was very, really really tough for me, but with with the with the gaffer I, wa I speak a lot with him, so he knows it. But this season, yeah, it's true that it's. I, I think it's also because it's a new season and everybody wants to restart with fresh minds and and good good hearts, good ideas. So we don't want to speak too much about previous mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. We just want to look forward and uh, and yeah, that's why. Every, you can see everybody, and also because we have a young, young, uh, yeah. effective. Yeah. So, so you can see that people wants to give everything, and that's that's a good point. That's a good point, and yeah, definitely, de definitely, they will also bring some maturity and stuff. But I think it's also good to have young people to to give this energy, yeah. you know, fresh energy and good uh, vibes. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Good vibes. So, so that's we look very good and nice also <laughs> <laughs> my English is not so not a problem <laughs> one last question for me yeah. are you hoping it's probably a bit unfair but are you hoping to get into double figures for for goals this season are you hoping to like say 10 goals 15 goals oh, or no. I, I just just no, go honestly me I always trying to play for the, the 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 team so I know as a striker you have to to to, to put you and and I don't, I, don't, I, would not, I don't know how to say it in English and and uh, objective yeah obje yeah yeah and um, as I have learned football for me I always put the teams in front and this kind of objective is always in my heart so my first goal is to make Bansley back where we belong and after the rest will come with this idea first ideas the first I think uh, you've spoke very well. Uh, I understand what you mean, and it's it's a, about the team itself. All going is one direction, and if you do get double figure goals, like twenty goals, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean I'll be happy. But apart from that, I just want to say thanks for taking time out. I really do appreciate thank it. Thank you. you. Thank you. Cheers. I appreciate that, mate. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, welcome to Tights TV. I've got Connor. Uh, great to see you again, mate. Uh, we're here at your unveiling. Are you settling into Barnsley? Okay. Yeah, it's been really good so far. You know, the club have been really good to me, both on and off the pitch so far. And um, yeah, I just can't wait to get going now. I think I've been talking to quite a few players, and they're all the same. Um, pre season, we want to out of way and we want to start with football season right now. So, are you one of them as well? I have no idea what you just said. Can oh, you right. just say that again? <laughs> so, that's my accent. So, uh, some uh, pre season people were like saying, oh, yeah, it's going to be really hard pre season. Wanted to just play normal football into football league like now. Is that what you're ready for? Yeah, you know, pre season, it's, um, you know, there's no getting away from it. It is difficult. You know, we've been doing a lot of running this pre season, um, you know, and it, it probably is needed to be fair because, you know, from my experience, you know, I'm an outsider probably looking in, you know, League One, we need to be really robust as a team, um, you know, and if we can get the fitness levels up to where we want them to be, we'll, um, you know, we'll definitely reap the awards this season. Good comment about as well because like last season I saw what we're lacking kind of thing and this season up to now I know it's only short even works on game and 
uh, open day pre uh, you know training kind of thing a lot of running and but what I can tell him players as well it seems to be happier it seems to be all in one direction it seems to be a, a, a better better environment to be in at, at minute yeah um obviously it's um it's a new environment for me to come in so you know I probably I'm the wrong person to comment on you know last season whatever but um yeah no since I've come in I, I've noticed that it's um we're all kind of in a similar age bracket and I think that there's really um kind of tight knit group and mm. um, I think the spirits are high at the moment and you know long may it continue with Michael being a defender as well um has been giving you any tips any pointers any advice just to help you improve your game as well yeah, you know, since I've worked with the manager, I can't speak highly enough of him. Um, you know, obviously being a, an ex centre back himself, mm -hmm. um, being able to learn from him, you know, day in day out, is, it'll just be invaluable for our, you know for mine and you know the other players' careers. I think as well, because people have been alluding to on on the uh, channel as well, is that got, they've got a lot of defenders coming in. Have a goal going to play, but I am looking at it as well, is that it's healthy competition as well, and it's going to push each player on and to improve their game as well. Do you do you see that as well? 100% you know I'd be a, of the exact same opinion you know when you're competing every day in training against you know the other centre backs will only drive your standards higher you know and if it drives our standards it'll drive the midfield and it'll drive the forwards and you know the harder we train the better we'll be. We've got a fair few pre-season friendlies left to you know to do kind of thing but when the season does start do you see it as d take one game at a time or are you wanting to be one month at a time or we should be winning that is it just every game it's an old cliche I suppose yeah it's an old cliche but it's it's the truth you know there's there's a lot of big games you know but there can't be a, a mentality shift this year you know um, just because there's big games doesn't mean let's say the lesser games will be you know less important um, you know we can't be a 9 out of 10 one week and a 5 out of 10 the other week you know we won't get far if we if we have that mentality so you know, we might be at a 9 out of 10 against Ipswich, but we have to be 9 out of 10 against, let's say, an Accrington Stanley or a Forest Green, or, and that's got to be the mentality this season. I think that's a good point, but you made via it. It's like that consistency you want to get. Uh, you can't be up one day and then down the next. So, again, it's like taking every game as it is, and it's like playing the opposition, respect the opposition as well, and don't like get complacent. But uh, under Michael Duff, what my impression is, I don't think Michael Duff will allow complacency to set in team deal. No, definitely not. You know, from the early stages, um, you know, from our early conversations with the manager, complacency, you know, won't be an option this season. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be hard drilled on the training pitch and, you know, hopefully we can, you know, um, produce that on, on a Saturday. I know you struggled with my accent a bit early, which I do apologise, but on a, have you settled into Barnsley? Okay. Yeah, I'm settling in. You know, probably as the days go by, I'm getting settled in more and more. Um, I live in a, a hotel at the minute, so as you can imagine, it's probably not ideal. Mm. Um, so, you know, credit to the club, they've been helping me house search. So, um, yeah, the sooner I get, you know, settled and moved in, you know, probably the better for me. And if you need any Barnsley lessons, I'll probably end up getting your hand on that one anyway, Connor. But uh, I just want to say welcome to Barnsley. Uh, have a good pre-season. I know it's not great, like, but good luck for the rest of the season as well and have a good season as well. Thank you very much. Cheers, Connor. I appreciate Thank that. You. Thank no you. Worries. Cheers. Neil from Tax TV. Great to have you. Uh, people that don't know who he is, I'm going to come out of here and have serious ways with this, but do you want to introduce do you to fans who we are, please? Yeah. Um, I'm Robbie Cundy, um, centre half, and uh, I was just signed a week ago, yeah. Great to have you on board. Um, we should know who you are because I did a video on YouTube um, about you joining. We've got over like nearly 1,700 comments and likes and views and that. A lot have been made about you uh, wanting to come to play first team football. Um, is that what you want to do? Come straight in and play football? Or is it like there's other people in there? You've got to competitions a bit uh, tough up here? Um, yeah, for me, obviously, my next contract, I just wanted to be settled. Um, you know, I had a few, I had four loans in two seasons at my previous club. So, yeah, it was just about being settled. And obviously, I'm 25 now, so game time as well is a big thing for me. Yeah. Do you know much about Michael Duff? Because it's it's been rumoured that he's, he's known about the lower leagues, and people have been saying, "Oh, you'll know about you such as you send, uh, seeing how you play and what you can bring to the table," kind of thing. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think I had a few close contacts at Bristol when I was there. I think he saw me at non-league as well when I was at Bath. Um, 
But other than that, I don't really know too much of him. Obviously, I played against him a few times when he was at Cheltenham mm. when I, on a few of my loans. Um, but since he's been in the in the um, building, yeah, he's been really good. And obviously, he was a centre half, so you know, I'm looking forward to him. You know, getting his knowledge from him and uh, hopefully, you know, improving and uh, having a good season. I mean, last season it was a pretty poor uh, before you come and you've came into it. Uh, one of the things I've noticed just a bit of pre-season I've seen and uh, game at workshop is that the players themselves seem happier, more buzzing and, and you know, the work rate seems to be there. Is Michael that kind of guy who's uh, always got a comforting word to sit here and, and I'm not sure, and like you just said, the, being, being a centre half, like a, a words of wisdom kind of thing? Yeah, definitely, I think so. Um, Obviously, I've only played one game uh, so far, but he seems pretty. Um, like, if you make a mistake, he's not gonna, you know, grill you. He's just gonna, you know, talk to you and tell you things you're doing wrong and right, um, which you know I like as a as a manager. Um, but yeah, you know, it's early days yet for me. I've only known him for about a week or so. So, but he seems uh, it seems positive from what I've seen so far. A bit like everybody else, but you can't wait for pre-season to be able to get uh, football season to get started. Yeah. Is that is that right? Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, obviously pre-season is going to be tough. Like all the boys know that. Uh, I'm not sure it's anyone's favourite time of year, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, obviously we've got quite a few games, you know. So mm. that's that's a good thing, you know. Can't wait to play in some more of those and just get match fit ready for the uh, season to start. I think that's what all Barnes fans are ready to go for the season to start and like it ground running kind of thing. Uh, on about it ground running, uh, have you managed to settle in in Barnsley okay? Or are you still looking? Um, so I've been renting for a few weeks now. Um, I've actually found a found a place with uh, with the missus, you know. So hopefully we can move in next week. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned earlier, I just wanted to be settled now, which I can, you know, having my own house. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that as well. I think that's a great point just to leave on beers, but it's settled down. He's uh, wanted to play football, and I'll be able to get back in championship. So Robbie, thanks for joining me, mate. Appreciate it. No worries. Thank you. Cheers, Thanks, Robbie. Mate. Take care. Have yeah, a good have a good season, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.